Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning we are going to do an install video. As most of you know, we have purchased the Eclipse Cobra charging system for both the Honda Africa Twin and our DRZ400. Kelly over Eclipse asked us if we'd do an install video for you guys, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do an actual install. We're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how you can install your own Eclipse charging system to your bike. Let's go do the install. Good morning guys and thanks for joining us. Again, like I was telling you, we're going to do the install video. We're going to actually do it on the Honda Africa Twin this morning. Your bike may vary, but some of the basic things that we're going to be doing is we're going to go over getting to your battery, checking to make sure that your charging system works, it wasn't damaged in shipping or something like that, where to run your wires and keep them so that they're not going to be a hazard or a safety hazard for you, and then actually installing the charging system to your handlebars or, or whatever, but we're going to go ahead with step one on the Honda Africa Twin to get to the battery. It's behind the toolbox, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change up the video and kind of change up the angles, but we're going to take you through. This is going to be step one as we're going to get to the battery so that we can test this unit before we even start running the wires. So let's get ready for that, guys. All right, guys, for the Honda Africa Twin, you're only going to need a couple of tools and Luckily for you Honda Africa Twin owners, the one tool that you're going to need right off the bat is underneath your seat and we need to take the seat off to get to that. And then you're going to need a few zip ties. If you can see, we've already got this bike wired up the way we want it. And you can't see the wires, they're hidden and they're poked back behind and they're not in a spot where you're actually going to catch it on brush or get hung up when you're steering. And we're going to go through and redo this entire install process so that you'll know how to install the Eclipse charger system and how to test it prior to installation. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the tool out so we can get this toolbox off so we can get to the battery. So let's do that. And for you Honda Africa Twin owners, the tool you need is right here in the seat. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but if this year Allen wrench that comes with it, you can almost tear your entire bike down with this Allen wrench. But I'm going to go ahead and start by taking the toolbox off. And if you got the tool kit that came with your Honda Africa Twin, you'll notice it probably ain't got no tools in it. The majority of them shipped without tools. But again, guys, I mean, this is essentially going to be the same no matter what kind of bike you have. You're going to have essentially the same deal. You need to find your battery and get to your battery. And then we're going to hook up the brand new charger so that you can make sure that it's working. All right, guys, here's the battery box on the Honda Africa Twin. There's a little tab down here and you just pull on it. And then here's the battery back here. So we'll go ahead and kind of pause for a second. Actually, I'm going to keep on going, guys, because uh, I've got this other little tiny camera down here that you guys will be able to see. But uh, the battery will come out after that's unscrewed. So let's go ahead and pull these wires out, and I'll show you what we're connecting. All right, guys, this red cable right here is your positive, And the one right here, which is black, is going to be your ground. So what we need to do is you always want to take your ground off first. So we'll go ahead and undo that. Okay guys, inside your kit, you're going to have a heavy duty wiring harness that looks just like this. If you guys aren't familiar and haven't watched the video, click the video above because we actually show you what this is for. This is going to be jump starting your bike. If you got a bad battery, and then this is what's going to actually connect. You got a quick connector here so that you can, this is a dual purpose connector. You can use it for your trickle charger. And then this is also what's going to be powering up your 12 volt supply up above. And uh, 
here's what I'm talking about. If you guys will look here, you've got heavy duty wires. These are marked real easy. Red for positive, B for black on the black side. And we're gonna wire this into the battery. You've also got an inline fuse in this so that if something happens, you get water in that, it'll kick the fuse instead of burning out your unit. So just be mindful that you wanna keep your fuse somewhere where you're gonna be able to get to it easy. And then uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm wiring this into the bike and we'll do the zip ties to get it put on there. And then uh, after we get it wired onto the bike, we're gonna do the test deal to make sure that the unit's working before we run all the wires up underneath the gas tank. And again, guys, we just finished tightening these wires up. This is gonna be the heavy duty wire. Right here, you can see it's got the inline fuse in it. So that's these wires here. The red's on the red side. You can see the red. Here's your red main cable going into the bike. And then we've got this bolted into that. And then over here on the ground side, you've got the ground and it's going into here. And then you can shove all these wires in here where it makes a nice clean fit, guys, and you can still get your battery cover back on. That's what we want. We want a nice clean covered area. Everything's connected to the right side. If you look on, on your battery box outside, positive side's over here, guys. It's not painted red, but it shows you positive. This side over here has a little negative mark on it. That's for the negative side. So it's real simple. Again, guys, I'll show you that real quick. Got all the red stuff hooked up on the red side, the black stuff. Got one wire each, if you guys remember. Got a red side and a black side. They're wired in now. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug that in and make sure that it's working. All right, guys, so here's the unit. We've, we've already run these wires. If you'll notice, we've got it tucked up underneath here. And then it's I've got it wired to my subframe. And I've got it clamped down. This is an additional charger that I've put in myself. This is for the trickle charger. But you can use the one that comes with your bike, which is this piece right here. It just, this eliminates wires and I already had it wired on, so I left it on here. But as you can see, we put zip ties around this. It's wired to the subframe. And we're going to test our unit and make sure that it's working properly before we run these wires underneath the gas tank and around over in there. But we're going to plug it in just like that. Cool thing, boom, it's already on. So we know it's working. We've got power. If you notice, it's got a switch on it. Guys, this is one of the things that I really love about this. You can actually be charging your cell phone or something without turning the key on on your bike. It makes it so much easier. You also know if it's on because you got the big bright, bright LED light. If you guys, let me see if I get this other camera going. Got the other camera going, so you got kind of a close up here. But like I was saying, you got the bright LED light. It tells you that the unit's working. And we already know we've got everything hardwired to the battery. That way we don't have anything sparking off or anything like that. You're not trying to hold it with your fingers. That's just a good way to test and make sure that it's going to work prior to doing it. We're going to go ahead. We've already got it tested. We're going to go to installing this on the handlebar and running the wires through. While we're here, go ahead and uh, take this little piece off here. real easy and, and then this just snaps off it's kind of got that velcro type stuff on here and it just lifts right off did you guys see that all right now we can get to the actual wires set that to the side so we don't break it or damage it keep all your screws handy again guys this one tool you can take almost your entire bike apart with we're going to move around up to the top and then we're going to run our wires down through here, so let's go do that real quick. This is one other tool. If you guys don't have these, I actually hand make these tools. And basically what it is, is it's a wire snake. And I'm selling these for $79.95. And if you call right now, I will include one more and we'll mark the price down $50. $29.95. And I will send you two of these wire pullers. Now I know from where you're sitting at, it may look like a regular coat hanger. But this is a specialty tool. Like I say, if you call within the next 10 minutes, we will send you two of these for $19.95 plus $75 shipping free to your door. Okay, anyhow guys, this, this right here is just going to make your life much easier. The Honda Africa Twin, it's going to be hard to video this, but we're going to run this wire instead of taking the tank off. We're going to run this wire up underneath the gas tank 
and pull it through with our snake. If you got somebody that will help you, it makes it a lot easier. If you don't, it ain't that big a deal because I actually did it by myself last time. And if you guys will just give me a little bit of time, I'm gonna leave the camera rolling and I'm gonna poke this thing up through here. If you got a flashlight, it might make it easier. If you don't have a flashlight, that's all right. But we're gonna run the wire from up here down through around your triple tree, down underneath here, and basically down the same channel that your power wire is already written, already wired through. That way you don't run the risk of burning your wires or anything like that on the exhaust. So we'll just leave the video running and uh, I'll throw up some really, really nice music. It will also be playing the time frame of how much time you have left to order your specialty tool for 1995. That includes two free shipping with orders over $3,000. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? But that right there, a little hook down here on the end is going to hold your wire from slipping out and just rest it up against your bike. But this wire is poked all the way through. It's running through the same exact channel that your wires are running to go from your control panel console up top down here to where we're going to be running our wire through. I'll bring the camera around up top and point it down so you guys can see it and I'll do that right now. Alright again guys, it makes it a lot easier if you got a flashlight, but I'm putting this flashlight on so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I've got the other camera running here. But here's your wiring and whatnot, and here's the little hanger that I just put in. Can you see that guys? This coat hanger, and we're going to run our wires straight, whoa, we're going to run our wires straight through after we tape it onto there. So that's what we're going to do next is just tape the wires on and then we're going to pull them through. It'll be a nice, easy little deal. If you got a little bit of electrician's tape, that's the easiest way to put it on. All right, guys, again, this is real simple. We already got the roll of tape, got it handy, and we're going to set this. So it doesn't get dropped or broken. We're just going to set it right there and uh, just wrap wrap around that maybe once or twice, and then tear it off so that you got a little bit that we can stick onto this hose down here. And let's see where that is the easiest to get a hold of. And make sure this other camera is going. You can see we've got. We're just wrapping this tape around that wire. If you guys will notice, I actually left that on there so that these little corkscrew deal will kind of hold onto the tape too. So we're going to pull it through nice and gently. And this is where, if you have a helper, it comes in handy. And if you don't, that's all right too. Just Use both hands and you can kind of work your way through here nice and easy. You can kind of tell by how much you're pulling if it's coming off or holding on. Use your little light stick and just kind of gently fish it through there. Booyah! Did you guys see that? I mean, look how easy that came through. Again, this tool you guys can make with a coat hanger at your house. You don't have to buy mine. If you guys want to buy mine, I'll send you two of them for $19.99, but otherwise you don't have to. So that's actually right there, guys, is the hardest part of wiring this up. I've already got the connection done. We've got that down through there so that we can wire it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this through here, guys. And there's a space back here big enough. You can actually we'll need a little more wire leave enough up there that we can put that on the handlebars but you've got enough wire guys that you can run this back behind here up through the bottom of your subframe and then we're going to zip tie that all in where it's nice and clean and then it's going to end up over here to where you can plug it in and then there's actually enough extra wire when you get that all zip tied in and there's several places in here guys that you can poke this wire and zip tie it that's going to be a personal preference depending on your bike and how you want to do it. But zip ties are cheap. You can go buy a bag of them before you even start this project. But 
as you can see, I always have zip ties laying around. I mean, they're laying around on everything. Anytime you're going to be doing any kind of wiring project, you're going to want that. All right, guys, and this is what I'm talking about. You can clean up all this mess by using some simple zip ties, and we're we're just wrapping up the last one. I don't want to bore you guys with watching me do a bunch of zip tie stuff, but uh, always put your zip ties in a spot that it's not going to catch on anything and it's not going to be cutting you down the road, but you can smash that all the way back in there. Now you've got a nice smooth spot, just like we were saying. I mean, even here's the original wire that I have for my trickle charger. And then if you guys can see this, this is an extra wire right here. While you're doing this and running this snake through and going ahead and pulling your wires to put your charger, if you plan on putting fog lights or something like that on your bike down the road, that's a good time to go ahead and just run the wire for your fog lights, and that's what we've done. We're going to end up putting fog lights on the front of our bike later, but I went ahead and put the wires in now so they'll be real easy, and I'll probably end up connecting into one of these other wires and or there's there's some kits guys that you can buy that's like a little fuse box we may end up doing that depending on how much more accessories we're going to put on here but either way we've already ran that wire you can see it's nice clean ran right here in the same channel that all the original wires are ran in we didn't have to take the tank off based on the way this bike's designed in the wiring system all right guys again like i was saying earlier in the video this comes with a couple of si different size spacers depending on what size your handlebars are for the honda Africa twin we got big fat bars up here so we don't need it but what i did do guys is i put a uh, piece of rubber inner tube like off a mountain bike because i always got little pieces of tube laying around just for stuff that keeps stuff from vibrating loose to it we're gonna use this mm -hmm. Sorry about that guys, I had that in my mouth. But uh, as you can see, it's just real simple. I've got one tiny nut here that goes on the back of this. A little bracket. Dag. If I had two right hands, it would be easier. There we go, now it's going. Just get it started good. And then uh, before I tighten it all the way down, I want to make sure that I've got this kind of centered up and where I want it and the angle that I want it. And it looks pretty centered up there. And again, guys, I'm just using, like I said, that's a piece of inner tube. And just, uh, it'll just kind of tighten it up and it makes it to where it doesn't vibrate loose or anything. And then the final thing is we're going to put the charger on. As you can see, the power's off on the charger. And it just, the tracks, you can see, we've got tracks here that that just slides down on. And then you'll hear it click, and it's down all the way to the bottom. Double check again, we got power. Guys, I'm telling you, this is so awesome. The one thing that I really love about this over accessory ports that are wired in, I don't have to turn my key on to keep my charger phone, or keep my, keep my phone charging. I don't have to turn on the key to charge the phone, the Cena, the GoPro, anything else. If I want stuff to be charging, I could be doing it while I'm eating dinner or at a restaurant or whatever else. It's going to keep your charger on. And then last but not least, the one thing that we want to double check and make sure of, we've already double checked it while we've installed it, but you want to make sure that you got your wires ran and zip tied so that they're out of the way. You want to make sure that you can turn your bike left and right all the way. You want to make sure that it's not binding in anywhere, anywhere up here in the front where you got your triple tree and you got your wires coming through. You want to make sure that nothing's bound up or stretched or, or too tight. That way you're not running into a safety risk. But I mean, guys, look how good this looks with the chrome up here. You got a nice, good looking chrome charger. It's got the LED on it so that you know when it's on and off. Got the chrome base plate to match. Guys, this is just a wonderful wonderful deal and i hope that uh hope you've enjoyed the install video i'll go ahead and keep the camera rolling we're gonna we're gonna set it back up and i'll put all this back together and then uh, again guys thanks so much for your likes comments and subscribes if you like our video give us a big thumbs up share this video with your friends and uh may you all 
Have a blessed week. All right, guys, that completes the install. I think you're gonna, you guys are going to need probably anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. As you can see, we had to stop and start the camera several times. But, I mean, we spent more time messing with the camera than we actually did installing this. But, guys, I want you to know this is real easy to install. As you can see, it looks really nice up here. We've got it mounted on our bracket. You can actually see the word clips. It's spelled correctly. You can, you can tell by the way that it's mounted, that it's mounted right. There's a multitude of places you guys can install this and put it on your bars, but we've got it right there in the center because that seems to be the easiest way. If you're standing up a lot, the cord will be going down right in front of you. Uh, it works great if you're charging your Cena or something like that that's actually connected to your helmet. That's a good spot for it. That's a good spot that I found even riding off-road and stuff. You can still leave it charged up and it works nicely there. Again, guys, the options are unlimited wherever you guys want to install it. But again, if you guys have time, send Kelly an email. Go over to Eclipse.com. There'll be links down below straight to his website. There's also going to be Amazon links where you can order straight through Amazon. But uh, if you want to order through Kelly, he's got some great products. As you guys know, we're doing the uh, giveaway this month. It's going to be for the Eclipse Smart Charger. There's a video for that. I'll post the link up above. But uh, they've got some great products over there. One of the main things that I really like about this, especially for you Honda Africa Twin owners, this is, uh, I think, $29 maybe. I think it's what we paid for ours, $29, because we bought one for the DRZ and the Honda Africa Twin. That's half. I, could, I bought both of them for what they want for the one Honda charger that goes into your Honda Africa Twin. It's a $75 part buying it through Honda. There's no other Honda places that have that for cheaper, but this right here, guys, you end up with with two ports. You got the regular cigarette voter, uh, cigarette lighter adapter and then you got, you got the USB port built into one for half the price of the Honda Africa Twin Charger. Again guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. And most of all, I hope you have a blessed week.